Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, sorry I've been so missing in action. I Life got really busy and then once it stopped being busy I was just too drained I guess to try and film. But I'm, I've am i been wanting to so it's like I finally have like the momentum I guess because I already have one video waiting to come up soon and I just want to get this one a tutorial. So today I have this fall, perfect fall look for you. You have the the um, warmth in your eyes, it's a warm smoky eye, and then a burnt red lip, and it's just perfect. I've got my fall sweater on, I've got some pumpkin spice latte over here, I'm just kidding. Um, but this is just, I don't know, it's fall, you have to do a fall look. And with the Modern Renaissance palette, which is what I use for this look today, there's just so many warm colors in it, and so it was perfect for this look. Um, and this palette is super easy to use every single day. Um, it does have a lot of warm shades in it, but there's a lot of neutrals that you can also use, like this brown, um, and then these two mauve shades, and then this one right here doesn't have a whole lot of um, warmth to it. So you can do a lot of different looks with this, um, but I just love the way this turned out. So thank you guys so much for watching, and stay tuned if you want to see how I got this look. Bye! Okay, so I'm going to start off by priming my face, and today I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And for foundation today, I'm going in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. This is one of my favorite foundations. Um, definitely going to be on my next favorites video. I'm using the color 3.25, and the 2.25 means it's a neutral undertone, which is exactly what I need. So I just pump a little bit onto my little e.l.f. Uh, blending brush. I think that's the name of it. I'm just gonna cover my face in this. And this is a little bit lighter than my skin tone, but this foundation does oxidize, so I always go a little bit lighter with it. Alright, I'm going in with my Shape Tape Concealer from Tarte. And I'm going to conceal underneath my eyes and prime my eyelids for eyeshadow as well. I really, I don't use an eyeshadow primer, I just use my concealer. And then I make sure to set it though, that way it um, goes on really smoothly. I'm going to take my damp sponge, pat this out. Now I'm going to go in and set my whole face, and I'm using the Kat Von D Lock It um, Translucent Setting Powder. I'm just going to take it on the little fluffy brush and dust it on. I'm going to take it on my sponge, and I'm going to go in and bake. Okay, just pack on a lot of powder. And while that's kind of sitting and doing its thing, I'm going to go in and contour. And I'm using the Hoola um, Bronzer by Benefit. I really like this bronzer because it has a neutral undertone. And most bronzers typically have a warmer undertone, which can make it look orangey. But this one looks nice and neutral. I'm going to take this on an angled brush. And then I gotta even out the rest, so on my temples and around my forehead. And I'm kind of rough with myself whenever I contour, I kind of notice that. And I'm just gonna go in and blend that out. And then I'm going to go in with a little smaller um, domed brush and do the sides of my nose. Back in with this to blend. I'm 
All right, so we're pretty good on contour. Um, I'm going to take this powder and go in and clean up underneath just so I have a straighter line. And I'm just going to go in and sweep underneath our eyes. And I'm going to sweep that off too. You can just see how that really cleaned up under there though. Okay, I'm going to move on to eyes and then we'll go back and finish up the face. I like the brush that's in here. This little dome brush is perfect as a blending brush. I'm going to go in with, um, let's see. I'm going to start off with Golden Acre. Sorry. <laughs> golden Ochre. Um, okra? Golden Okra. <laughs> and it's like a um, sand color. And I'm going to work this back and forth in the crease. Just the more colors we can build, we'll give it that more dimension and um, more intricate look. Alright, now I'm going to go in with a deeper color and I'm going in with burnt orange and it's, it's a brown orange. I'm just going to keep building up this color until I get the warmth I want. And don't be afraid to blend up because for my eyes I have these bones that stick out so you can't really see my um, eyeshadow unless I do blend up onto the bone. But it just gives a really blended out and smooth look when you do that. I'm going to go in with a slightly scarier color to most people, but it's an orange. It's a burnt orange, and it's called Real Gar. And I'm going to keep that. I'm not going to blend that as high up. I'm going to keep it more focused in on the crease. But this is just going to add even more warmth and dimension. Okay. I'm going to go in with a red now, and I'm going to take red ochre, that one right there, it's a burgundy red, and I'm going to keep this focused on the outside corner. Alright, I'm going to take my blending, my little uh, Morphe M433 brush, the little blending brush, and I'm going to go back in with a warm taupe color, and I'm going to use this to blend out those lines. Okay, and then you just kind of keep building to see where you need to add more. Alright, I'm going to go in and add my gold shimmer now. I'm going in with Primavera, which is a pretty gold shimmer. And I'm popping this on the inner half of my eye. Also into that inner corner just to brighten. And then I'll go back in with my little blending brush and blend those two colors together. So you have a nice gradient effect. Alright, moving on to eyeliner. I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. And I'm going to give myself a nice wing.
then for the bottom lash line, I'm going to be taking a flat little definer brush shaped like this. And I'm going to go in with um, this cypress umber color. It's a um, deep rich brown. And I'm going to just keep this really close to my lash line. I really like to use eyeshadows on my lower lash line versus a um, eyeliner because it just doesn't block it off as much and you can make it look a little bit more natural. Now I'm going to go in with a different brush to blend that out and it's a brush shaped like this and I'm going to take a little bit of this burnt orange that we used in the crease shade to blend that lower lash line out. And then for mascara, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara just to really coat my lashes. So now moving on to the eyebrows, I'm going to be using my Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Brow Pencil. And I'm just going to fill my brows in really quickly. Alright, now I'm going to go in with the Benefit Gimme Brow to set. And this is a brow gel. A tinted brow gel. I'm going to go in and finish up my face, then we'll move on to lips and we'll be done. So I'm going to be using woo, the um, Becca Hill, Becca Jaclyn Hill um, little palette. And I'm going to be going in with um, Amaretto and a tiny bit of, uh, I believe it's Rose Spritz. And apply that to my cheekbones just to put some color back in my face. Alright, and then I can't go without my highlight, so um, keeping with the theme of the gold and the warm, I'm going to go in with um, Prosecco Pop, which is a gold highlighter. And pop this on my cheekbones. And then on a smaller little flat brush, I'm going to go under my brow and intensify that inner corner highlight. Put a little bit on my cupid's bow. And tip of my nose. Alright, let's move on to lips. I'm going to be first lining my lips with the um, Essence Lip Liner in Red Blush. And this will just help keep my um, liquid lip in place. I just think liquid lips are easier to put on when you have a liner on first to kind of let that be the guide. Alright, now that I got kind of the shape I want. I'm gonna go back in with. I'm gonna go in with my liquid lip, and I'm using this Ciate Liquid Velvet in the shade Pin Up. It's just a really pretty muted brown red. If that's enough description, I like these because they're liquid lips, but they don't. Um, they still hydrate your lips. It's just the perfect call, fall color. Alright, so that's pretty much the finished look. I'm just going to lock everything in place using the Bosha White Charcoal Mattifying Setting Spray. I'm just going to give myself a quick bath. Um, 
Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Bye.